1985 Rolls Royce Silver Spirit. An oyster, something or other over another oyster. Looks like a beigey grey colour over grey. Very, very nice looking car. Um, I saw someone tapping magnets around the wheel arches earlier and they were sticking to it. So we've no uh, dodgy fill of work around there. Absolutely mint this car. Now there is, there is one butt which I will come to in a bit. Around the wheel arch there, how perfect it is. It's got a really good history power with it. I think she's done under 50,000 miles. Registration comes with it. That would have meant something to somebody at one time, boy. 202H. Interesting, but a number plate will have a little bit of history behind it. Passenger wheel arch here, perfect. nicking a paint, point paint work there. Looks like that's been done before paint at some point. Front near side wheel arch. A couple of tiny stone chips there. There's one, about half a millimetre in size and one behind it. A few stone chips above the headlight there. Chrome works really bright. Of ecstasy is looking good. Well, I can't remember finding any faults with the paintwork apart from this edge here. It's obviously been in a garage and opened against the garage door. There was something else, but I can't remember what it was. I think if you have a look at the description, it was a while ago I did the description for this car. Inside it's wonderful and it's got a really nice smell. Some of these Rolls Royces start smelling a little bit musty and old. Leather headlining, absolutely perfect. Lovely Bakelite thin rim Rolls Royce steering wheel. Now they tried to emulate that in the Phantom, which we have set outside ready for April sale. Modern Phantom, but it's just not quite the same as this one. Woodwork's perfect. Blow pump stereo. Armrest again, I've seen on these they start sagging a little bit and looking a bit tired, they're really rock solid. Just a proper, proper Rolls Royce this. Back seats, perfect. Carpets in the back, absolutely perfect. You'd happily have a trip to Cheltenham in this or Aintree or wherever you want to go to watch your racehorse. I'm rambling now. Right, let's start her up. So, 49,000 miles. <laughs> I've not given it the three squirts of the throttle. There she goes. Six point seven five litre V eight, pristine under here as well. You just tell this car's been really looked after. from the back C 
she's stone cold. Just settling down now. Knock her off. There it is. Now, there is a problem with it. It does have a water leak. We're not sure whether it's a cylinder head gasket problem. We, we pressure tested it. And it, the pressure test, you know, the, the water leak test comes back okay. But there is uh, oil contamination in the water and vice versa. And we're not sure the configuration of the oil cooler on one of these either. So you pay your money, you take your chance. It does start, it does run, but it will need something addressing with the water leak whatever it might be so that's it this car's 20 grand if it was mint i think it might be it'd be cheap at 10 or 12 as it is even if you had to do a cylinder head gasket it's that good i'm not if you've seen my other videos you'll see that i'm not a used car salesman type trying to but this car is you cannot fault it on much it's just an absolute crying shame that it's got that water leak because I think it would be doing five, six, seven grand more than it's gonna do. But anyway, that's for you to decide. If uh, if you want us to zoom in or want need anything extra, or think I've been going a bit too fast, or want me to focus on a specific item, just give us a shout and we'll happily talk you through anything else. Good luck.